Hello, my YouTube friends. I do a lot of videos on live streaming to YouTube, but that's not where everyone streams. Facebook can be a great place to live stream. I mean, you can live stream to your main page or a group or all kinds of different awesome places on Facebook. It's a great streaming platform. So today I'm gonna show you how to set up OBS to live stream on Facebook for the best results and of course, how to go live. So let's get to it. My analytics say that 80% of the folks that watch my content are not subscribed. This seems crazy. Am I doing something wrong? If so, let me know in the comments. But if you are looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better YouTuber or live streamer, then subscribe to the channel and click that bell so you don't miss any new content. It's totally free. The Facebook live streaming setup is a bit different than YouTube, so we need to adjust OBS first for our Facebook live stream. So let's dive into OBS. So here we are in OBS and we're gonna first go into profile and I'm gonna set up a new one here because we're going to start a new type of stream that we haven't done before and it's just best to separate these out. And so it's gonna be to Facebook and I'm gonna turn off the show auto configuration. We're gonna go in and configure everything ourselves. Then I'm going to click on settings and I can go to stream and I can pull this down and change it to Facebook Live and we'll get the stream key in a second. That's all we need to do here for now. And it does give us our recommended stream settings down here on the bottom. And of course you can try to ignore these if you like, but it does give you a pretty good guideline of what the best recommended settings are for Facebook. So we're going to follow that. We're going to go into advanced. Now I have an Nvidia card, so I'm going to change my encoder right here. And we do not need to rescale the output. You really don't want to do that unless you absolutely have to. So we're going to go in here and we're going to see our output scaled resolution to 720. We're going to set our canvas resolution to 720 as well. And we're going to leave it at 30 frames per second. And we're going to go back into output. CBR is fine. We're going to change our bit rate to 6,000. If you do not have the output ability of your live stream to do 6,000, 4,000 should be fine. I'm going to change my preset to max quality and my profile to high. Now, if you have a slower, older machine, you might want to lower your preset a little bit. That'll change the encoding, but it really doesn't degradate the signal all that much. It still looks pretty good. Now, if you have X264 because you don't have a graphics card. You're just going to go ahead and select that as the encoder. Change your bit rate to 6000. We're going to go to medium under the CPU usage and high under profile. And for tune, you can select. I usually take film. It gives me the look that I want. Now, as far as CPU usage goes, if you have a speed demon, you can set that lower. It just sets the quality but uh, that's where you would adjust if your stream is struggling. And then we're just gonna click apply and okay. So now we have our stream set up to go to Facebook. Now we're gonna flip over into Facebook and this is just my page here. I can click on live video. It's gonna bring us into the live video settings and Facebook wants to use your microphone and camera. You don't really need to worry about that because we're not going to use our camera through Facebook. We're going to go ahead and configure it on our own. We're gonna go ahead and use this stream key right here. Here. We're not using the paired encoder either. You just want to select use stream key and you can set some of these options. You can have a persistent stream key, which means your stream key will never change. It will always be the same. You can use a backup stream, which means that it will kind of record in the background and no matter what happens, um, you could choose or not choose to use it. Down here in settings, you can allow viewers to rewind and you can also turn on auto-generated captions. Under stream, you can end live video if your stream stops, which means if you lose a connection, your live video will automatically end. Down here, you have stream latency. You can try normal or low. I recommend just leaving it on auto and letting it do the work. You can embed live video if you have a web page or something and you want to embed the video on that web page, you can get the code and paste it into your website. And there's some different broadcast settings down here, spherical video and that sort of thing. So all we really need on this page is to copy our stream key. We're going to go back over into OBS, go to settings. We're going to go to stream and we're going to just paste our stream key in here. And then all we have to do is click apply and our OBS is ready to stream. But let's go back into Facebook and take a look 
look at a couple of these other settings. You can see this is where your display is gonna happen when you do connect for your live stream. And if you click this, it'll bring up that bottom dashboard right here. And if I go to dashboard, it gives you this little nag screen. We've got it. It's gonna show you your insights, how many viewers, comments, shares, that sort of stuff you have, your stream metrics. You can edit your title over here on this panel here. You can select what type of stream you have. Right now, it seems like gaming is all that's there. You can go ahead and send out alerts depending upon what type of stream this is going to be. And then right here, it shows your max resolution to 720 and all that kind of stuff listed right there. You can create a poll as well. If I go over here to dashboard options, I can add different things to the dashboard. In stream health, we've got our stream metrics, which show you that your bit rate and your frame rate and your audio bit rate are all good. And we'll come back to this as soon as we start a stream. Right here we have graphics. If you add those, they'll add a lower third to your stream that's editable. You can add a poll and you can add questions as well. And there is help. If you need some, you could get to it right there. Over here to the left, you can see here's where you're going to post it. You can post it to your timeline, another page that you manage, or you can post it in a group. So you can select this, select the group you may want to post to, or you can post it to another page that you manage. Here you can select who gets to see your stream. You select only me, that's good because you can test using only me. See if your stream looks good before you do a public live stream. Here you can put a title in for your live stream and you can put a little description in there for your live stream as well. So let's go ahead and add a source in here. I think I'll just add a video file so we can take a look and see how this works. And it's a video file, so I'm gonna select loop and okay. And there we go. We have the video in there, but it is gigantic because of course this is a 720 stream. So I just need to shrink it down a little bit. And there we go. We've got audio and video in here. We're all set. So if we just wanna test the live stream, we can click start streaming and we'll flip back over into Facebook. You can see down in the bottom right, it says connecting to live video. And there we go. We have some live video coming across. Put a title in here, put a little description in here and you can see your preview up here. Have a look at what it's going to look like. Now, this isn't actually what it's going to look like. This is actually much lower resolution for the preview. I'm not sure why, but it does show you what it's receiving. It does tell you it's getting 720p. It shows you the bit rate and the frames per second and your audio bit rate, your audio format and all that good stuff. It tells you that everything is working. You can also go over here in the stream health just to verify that everything is working as it should. And if I go over here, I can go ahead and see the settings and you can see that your preview is not very high quality for some reason. But we know that it's producing a stream that can go at 720 and that's what your viewers are going to see. And so we can go down here in the bottom left hand corner and click go live. It takes a moment or two before it actually goes live. And there we go. Now we are live to Facebook. You can see our comment window shows up here in the bottom left. So we can just type comments in here or receive comments from anyone who happens to be watching our stream. There you can see what it looks like. You can see the chat here. You could go up here and edit your post again if you would like. And anytime you go to the dashboard, you can see how many comments, reactions, and of course, all of the pertinent information as to how your machine is streaming. You can get either in the dashboard or in stream health, but you may not just believe that. You can come over here into OBS and go to docs and then select stats. And it's going to show you the stats that OBS is actually outputting. So we've got 30 frames per second. We got the correct bit rate. We're not dropping any frames. If we go down here to the bottom right, we can verify that as well, 30 frames per second, 6,000 kilobits per second, and no dropped frames. So it appears that this stream is running exactly as we intended it to. And this is a good way to test. Now, when you're done, obviously, and you stop the stream, you're gonna wanna watch it back and make sure your audio is good and it's all in sync and everything is the way it's supposed to be. Once you're done, you can end the video and it tells you that you do have the opportunity to delete it. If you click end, this little questionnaire comes up and you have the options as to where you wanna post or whether you want to trim the video or create a clip and I'm just going to delete it and confirm and there we go. Now we've gone live to Facebook, albeit just to me, but you can do this to any group or any page that you have access to. It's really that easy. Now if you want to see how to configure OBS for a bunch of different platforms you can stream to at the same time, you should check this video out. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better YouTuber or live streamer, subscribe to the channel. It's totally free. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.